Oh, what's up everybody? So today, sunny, beautiful day. Obviously wearing a t-shirt. It is a perfect day to be looking at new construction in Holiday, Utah. Now, Holiday, if you're local, a local, you know, Holiday, just like uh, Draper Sandy, does have a, uh, a, a certain something that stands out and that makes prices go up based on location. Now, Vandell, I've showcased on my channel because they came in as a as a introductory uh, community in Daybreak. Vandell at Axis uh, North Station, I believe, in Daybreak. You can go further down and see those videos. However, I knew because of the sales consultant in Daybreak that they were building a whole new community here in Holiday. As you can see, it has gorgeous views of the Wasatch Front, of the mountains. And again, I'm so glad and grateful that it was a sunny day that I can come and show you the full potential of these builds. Now, price point. Uh, the Daybreak townhomes were somewhere between like 500. I don't know if any of them got up to the 600, I'm sure with, uh, with options and, and upgrades. These ones, because of location, and now the materials are a little bit better or higher, it's a step up, uh, the quality. These are gonna blow your mind, especially if you're in the in the Utah local market, but because of location, these start in the mid 900s. Now there's only one which I will show you that is, and again, these are model homes. Uh, phase one is right over there, back there behind the sales office. Um, there is one that they have a 940, 950, but that's like, you know, what am I looking for? Like ground floor. However, most of these are gonna go way north uh, from a million, 1.1 or one and a half, 1.2. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous these. So welcome to today's video. Right now we're gonna take a look. I have a, a little handout right here. This is residence A. This is a two bedroom, I mean not two bedroom, a two story with a rooftop deck. So essentially three levels with the third one being an open deck. So this right here is, that's the front entrance. This is residence A with a rooftop deck overseeing the uh, the West Edge front. So it's gonna be a gorgeous, gorgeous walkthrough. Um, yes, you know, you're gonna be spending north of a million, but let's see if that just, if what we're gonna see justifies that price point so here's number one my goodness i like it already Woo! okay so here's the front entrance this i'm guessing is a coat room yep but check this out look at the ceilings look at the exposed beams look at the lighting fixture the two-story wow two-story uh fireplace and then plenty plenty of windows for natural light coming in so this is not a mirror, that's just artwork. Obviously, all of these are have all the bells and whistles. They're professionally staged, so you can kind of get an idea what it would look like. Uh, my goodness, I like this. All right, let's see. Let's see if uh, any of you out there that watch this, if you're looking for um, a townhome, which I'm sure it's gonna have an HOA to take care of the, the grounds, the, the snow removal, if, if something like this justifies north of a million. So, According to this one, this is residence A. You do see it's got a two-car garage, unfinished basement, second floor loft, uh, primary um, bedroom or, or uh, what am I thinking? Uh, master bedrooms on the first floor. This one has three to four bedrooms. Uh, but yeah, as you can see down here, it starts at the a little under 1.1 million. It can go up to 1.2. So. And then you can see the square footage right there. But as aesthetics is concerned, this is gorgeous. I love the high ceilings. I love the lighting fixtures and just the openness. So it goes from living room to dining to the, you know, the, the um, assigned section for, and even, even you know, again, the, the, the uh, staging does a lot to kind of play with your emotions and, and with your taste. Uh, so it, do, it looks very good, especially with the large windows. And here in the great room, and man, I can't stop looking up. Just, man, the exposed beams and the high ceilings. I'm a lover of Christmas. I can just picture a massive 15, 18 foot tree right there, or maybe right here. And then it flows into the kitchen, large island, good for three. This one sits about, what is that, eight people? And then lighting fixtures. I, it, I think it's so important to to dress up your your home 
uh, with lighting fixtures. It's just a little something that, not necessarily an afterthought, but I think lighting does a lot, you know, whether it's pendant lighting like this overseeing the, the island or, you know, a chandelier over the family room. Uh, side note, I love this type of railing when it goes to the black industrial fill with, mixed with the glass partition. Uh, the fact that, you know, wood flooring, I don't see any carpeting, that's a huge plus for me. You have stainless steel appliances. Um, I think it's black, black finish, I guess. Um, but yes, just aesthetically pleasing no matter what. Look at the backsplash. That's definitely a texture. I'm not quite sure what this is, but that is very cool. Let's go to my left first. That's the cell's office. As I said outside, that is phase one, part of phase one. Uh, and I will show you a little bit, I guess, from upstairs um, regarding completion dates. Okay, so behind the actual kitchen, you have access to the walk-in pantry. As always, the addition of the glass to see through is always a... It, it, I don't know, it just does it for me. I love the little touch of glass. Uh, powder room, half bath, I love this. I don't know if it'll come in, come through the... You can kind of see a glare, but the, the backsplash has this gloss matte finish. It's textured and it kind of looks gold brown with blue. That is very cool. I think kind of, you can kind of see it with the light. Kind of contrasts well the, the framed uh, mirror, square mirror. Black touches as you saw in the, in the kitchen. It kind of continues on. We have 10 foot ceilings here in the bathroom as well. Simple lighting fixture, but it, it looks well. So far so good, I'm liking what I'm seeing especially if you're gonna spend a million dollars on a townhome. Across the kitchen, we have the laundry room. Okay, we have a sink, same color combo, color palette as we saw in the, the rest of the house. Side-by-side -side washer and dryer, room for your pet, and then tile floor. Uh, this one does have a finished basement being that it's the model, so I will show you that in a little bit. Uh, access to the two car garage with epoxy floor, extra height ceiling, uh, and then depth. I think there's like a little addition over there. So two car garage, no mud room from what I see, no mud room, which I don't, doesn't really matter. Let's go see the downstairs with a continuation of the wood floors, which I like. Okay. So it goes down to nine foot ceilings, but still, you know, it is a basement, so you're not gonna get a lot of natural light, but because of the high ceilings, you do not feel cramped. I'm 6'1", and sometimes basements, you get that feeling. So here to my left, we have the first full bath, standing shower, fun black uh, gloss and black brown gloss finish for the, for the backsplash, pretty roomy Euro shower, single sink, same color palette as we saw down uh, upstairs. And yeah, just aesthetically very nice. Um, and then you have your enclosed toilet, which is always an important addition. I, I do not like having uh, toilets exposed to the rest of the bathroom. So TV room, movie room, game room with you know pretty cool uh, lighting fixtures, pendant lighting over the, the pool table. Here to my left, we have bedroom number one. I don't know how many bedrooms are down here, but it seems like only one bedroom. I love this. Uh, my boys, my kids, including my, my daughter, they will love something like this. That is awesome. So continuation of the nine foot ceilings. Then you stage with the TV, little sitting area, plenty of room for, you know, whether it's a double bunk bed or single twin size beds or even, even a queen size bed. You could fit in a queen size bed or king size bed here. And then it goes from the wood floors to the carpet into your walk-in closet, pretty roomy. And then from bedroom number one, bathroom, family room, there is something, okay, okay, don't miss your available hospitality area. So, awesome. So you have your wine cooler, your fridge, room for your popcorn, for your sweets, plenty of cabinet space, your sink, ready for a night in to watch a movie. Now this one does have, because the model home, it does have speakers, but eventually this home will go up for sale when they 
end, uh, which right now, from what the sales consultant said, a lot of these floor plans that you're seeing here, and then I'll show you, um, basically, if, if you're available now, some of these are gonna be moving ready by, I believe they said, August, July, August. So we're coming up really quick, a few months. Uh, some other ones are gonna be available coming uh, October, November, and then maybe some going into the new year, 2024. Okay, pretty nice. I, I love the, I never seen a pool table with a, an orange finish, that's really cool. Then more space for your TV room. Mechanical room, which that's pretty self-explanatory. And then you have some storage, closet space here for more gaming or Again, just storage. So, if you choose the option to have a finished basement, yes, you're gonna be paying for it, but this is what it might look like, which not too shabby. Room for a pool table, for game room, family room, playroom, kids. I think my kids will love something like that, especially with a fancy bathroom like that. And that is the downstairs to the what was it? The residence A. So just a, as a summary, we have so far one bedroom downstairs. So there should be about maybe three bedrooms up there. And we're talking about two and a half to three and a half baths. There's a great room that you saw it's out there. The dining area, laundry room right here. And we're talking about a million eighty. Well, a well, million eighty thousand. A little under one point one, up to one point two. So. Here we go to the kitchen again. Here's another vantage point of the great room. I love this great room. And since we're in this level, we're gonna go into the master bedroom right away. Oh, and it smells great, it smells wonderful. Okay, wood floors, fun rug, large windows, and then extra room for the healing, uh, ceiling height here in the master bedroom. Textured accent wall, which I love. I think that's, that's awesome, king size bed and then access to your master bath going from the wood to the tile floor and a little towel uh your linens etc and then just again high ceilings same color palette that we've seen throughout the house black grays browns uh fun lighting fixtures and then his and hers sink this one has a framed uh large rectangular frame mirror which i think it looks awesome then you have your standalone bath of your soaking tub. You have your enclosed toilet. And then you have the continuation, basically this whole piece as a backsplash. Um, yeah, I love it. You know, it's textured. I believe that's just, not quite sure what this material is, but uh, some sort of tile. Uh, and then, you know, if you're not the, like me, not a fan of soaking tubs, you do have your Euro shower, pretty large size. Kind of wish that they had another shower head right above. That'd be kind of cool. And then a large walk-in closet, uh, which is, I guess, mostly for her and not for him. But I do love these uh, these glass uh, glass cabinets, his and hers again. Oh man, it smells wonderful in here. Okay, so I'm a fan so far of everything that I've seen. Uh, especially this great room, this kitchen, but definitely that master bedroom. Pretty roomy, I like it. Man, just decorating here for the holidays would be awesome. And then it is open to the upstairs. I'm sure that's the loft. Okay. Okay, so as we make it upstairs, we have a landing here to my left, which could be another TV room, a playroom. It does have two openings to look to the downstairs of the great room. You have your industrial looking fan or another, you know, homework area or game room. And just the amount of light that comes in, this is awesome. And then the addition of these two uh, vantage points down, I think that's very, very cool. Man, okay. All right, here to my left, we have, ow, just hit my knee. Here to my left, we have another bedroom. Actually not, a, wait, this is not a bedroom. Okay, so this is just, it doesn't have a closet. So right now they have it staged as a gym, as a home gym, which I would love. I just need to add some weights. But then you have a really cool little uh, prep section for your water, for your towels, yoga mats, etc. And then you have your mirror, which obviously opens up the, uh, 
at least the feeling of, of, of a, a bigger room. And then this one does have a, a view. Now, I'm sure they'll be finishing up more construction here. It will block maybe a little bit of the view, but you still have view of the mountains as you work out in your fitness room. Or if you jump, well, I guess that's not a Peloton, but you get the idea. Okay, you got your towel hanging section. Okay, to my left, we do, we will see this maybe last. You have access to, like I said, it has a rooftop deck. Uh, being this, is, well, this is a two story. Is it, this isn't a three story. Okay, maybe I misread. So this one is still a two story with the rooftop deck coming off of the second floor, but it doesn't have a third level, which a lot of these builds, particularly Vandell and Daybreak, they have like a second floor and then the third floor is a deck. So we have access to the first bath right here, full bath, tiled floor. We have the enclosed toilet, same color palette that we saw um, downstairs. Here's and hers sinks. And then we do have your toilet. Wait, the toilet's right over there. Here's your, your standing shower. Okay, and then here we have, okay, so what I'm seeing, there is a bedroom there. There's a bedroom down, Three. So there's one in the basement, master bedroom, this bedroom, that's three. And then you have your, which I don't know if you would use that, since you don't have a closet, if you use that as a, a fourth bedroom, but it could be a bedroom from, I guess, what they're saying. But we have the second bedroom, or third bedroom, technically, up here. It's really spacious. To be an extra bedroom, this could be a master bedroom and a lot of other builders' floor plans, but this one does have a large walk-in closet. Great view of the west. That over there is Highland Drive, if you're local to the area. And then final piece is the access to the outside. This is actually before that, let's see what this is. Just closet space for game, board games. And then right here, you get access to your outside, your outdoor entertainment area. You got your Traeger, fire, um, barbecue you have your outdoor uh, fireplace insert you have your hot tub and then you have water right over there you can hear the water and if i if i stay quiet you can hear the water just going down the stream you have your speakers out here for music and then like i said you do have a partial view of the wasatch front of the mountain so with this location, whether it's this particular townhome or any of these um, floor plants, eventually when they're done, you're going to have pretty quick access to the snow uh, ski resorts. You know, you, you're going to be close to Big Cottonwood Canyon, Little Cottonwood Canyon, up a drive. You know, if you are maybe 20, not even that, 20, 25 minutes, depending on weather, can make it up to Park City, Deer Valley, etc. We're talking about easy access to, let me see, where, where am I standing? I-215 belt route that will take you up to Salt Lake International Airport in about 15 to 20 minutes, if that. Downtown Salt Lake City, University of Utah, Westminster College, or if you want to head over to the south and go over Point of Mountain, Draper, into Silicon Slopes, Lehigh, etc. Um, but yeah, the possibilities here are endless. You know, put some night lighting here. You have your hot tub. You still have your view of the mountains. And then, like I said, you know, roast marshmallows, just sit here, have your yoga outside, your yoga mat, and then your sitting area for summer nights. So this has been residence A, as I said, somewhere between a little under 1.1 to 1.2 million. Vandell Homes, the actual uh, community is called Elevate at Holiday Hills. Yes, it's pricey. We're talking about a shared wall this one being an end unit, uh, but you're spending a little over a million dollars. So it is a lot of money for a townhome. However, the finishes, the flow, the quality of the products and the finishes, and most importantly, the location is what you, it would look like every morning you come down for your breakfast and you get welcomed by a large room with exposed beams, beautiful lighting fixtures, lots of natural light coming in. I think it's awesome. So this is available starting like i said with these this phase phase one right over there around july to august if you have any questions regarding this particular floor plan 
the builder, Vandel, the area, Holiday, or particularly this community, Elevated Holiday, do reach out to me. Do not wait because these are going to go by fast. The ones in Daybreak, I've been going fast really, really quickly. So uh, one of the main stand-up points, which I get, man, there's many standpoints for me, like one being this great room, the master bedroom I like, but I really liked, which is kind of odd, is this powder room, this half bath. I love the gloss finish on the backsplash. I really like this. Uh, and then this, the aesthetics outside, you obviously saw the, the front is really pretty. So do reach out to me, let me know any questions, especially if you wanna move forward with making an offer getting into one of these saving your spot again these are going to fly off really quick you're going to get some availability availability starting in july moving into august october and then possibly some of these ones going to uh into the new year uh we're going to be looking the next few videos are going to be a residence 1b or b1 b2 b3 and they do not have the last one residence c which that one now you're going up into the 1.3 to 1.3 and a half, so $1.4 million. So that one, they don't have a floor plan for that, or um, not a floor plan, uh, a model home for that one. So that's been it. So welcome again to Holiday here in Utah. Real estate market is picking up astronomically quick, astoundingly, I, I want to say astoundingly quick. Uh, I am your man, so I'm a man on the ground. If you have any questions, whether you're local or out of state, let me know what we can do. You can text me, call me, drop a comment on this email or this email, this video. Do read the video description. If there's anything that I might have missed, I will include it in the video description. But other than that, peace.